My name is Haley and I'm a Colorado State University undergraduate student in the History Department interning with the Colorado State University Extension Office. Today I'm interviewing Brittany who is a part of the 2020 Meeker Mustang Makeover. To start I just have a couple of background questions. Um, what is your dream job, job and how long have you been working with horses? So I've been working with horses all my life. People always ask me when I started working with them. I honestly can't give them an exact answer. They've always been a part of my life. Um, another one thing I'm always asked is what my dream job is. And I tell them I'm a junior. I still have time to figure that out, but I always know that I'm going to be around horses and livestock. So um, as of now, I'm thinking about going to LCCC and UW and studying ag business and animal science. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so what type of work have you done with horses in the past and have you ever competed? Yes, so I do show horses through 4-H and then along with that I have um, I have a horse record part in my FFA records so I'm hoping to take that to state in a few years and just local Gymkhana stuff I hope to get into some jackpot roping later on in the summer and next year and then hopefully in college walk onto a rodeo team. Nice, that's awesome. Um, describe an experience you've had with horses where you've been particularly successful and proud of the work you've accomplished. So um, I live and work on my family's ranch and we have a guest business. So along with that, it comes with a lot of the ride, riding and um, kind of um, improving the horses to, for certain things you could say. And probably one of my greatest accomplishments is one of them with one of them is taking a horse that had six rides on him and um, finishing that him out for barrel racing, roping, and then also a guest horse. Awesome. Um, so outside of working with horses, how have they impacted your life and what have you learned from them? They have impacted my life so greatly. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you a single just like pinpoint one thing. Um, they have taught me patience. That's probably the big one, especially with this um, new project with the Mustang. Uh, it's really teaching me patience. I usually I'm working with horses who have some human contact. So then working with something that has not had um, that much human contact, that's something that's really been helping me. Definitely. Um, so one final background question. Um, what are your future goals with horses? Well, I would like to always have horses in my life, be breaking horses throughout my life, um, kind of just breaking them, selling them, raising them. Um, I would like to, I'm trying to get into breakaway and do that along, along with barrel racing. So um, continue with the roping part of things and stuff like that. Awesome. Um, so now I'll move into some questions more directly focused on the Meteor Mustang makeover. So why did you decide to join the Meeker Mustang Makeover? So I've always wanted to mess with Mustangs. Um, what like, sparked my uh, like drive to um, mess with them is when I was littler, I watched a movie called Unbranded. And it's about these guys who broke Mustangs and rode from the Mexico border all the way to the, Canadian, the Canada border. So watching that as a little girl, I always wanted to see what uh, Mustang, like what uh, the potential Mustangs had. And living on a working cow ranch, I've always wanted to see if they're like good cow horses or um, could they be good rope horses and everything like that. So um, I got an email from our 4-H leader and she just gave some information and then my mom passed that on to me and I just saw that as a good opportunity to see what it's like, kind of get the feel for it, and then also learn from this experience. Definitely. So what has your favorite part of training a Mustang been so far? Probably just the idea that you really have had the first positive um, impact on their lives. You think when they first come into captivity, they aren't, they aren't being messed with or anything. Um, they go from being out in the wild to in a pen. So just having the first um, contact with them and just knowing that you're like the first person to really be teaching them something or uh, getting them to do certain things, like halter breaking and stuff like that. Awesome. 
Um, what challenges have you come across and how are you handling them? So, um, probably one of the biggest challenges I've come across is with my new Mustang, he, he's been really friendly. So from the beginning, I've been able to touch him, mess with him. So then I felt like the time was right to put a halter on him. And I got the halter on and that didn't really go as planned. It was a setback. So that's probably been my biggest challenge is trying to build up trust from that setback and try to get things back to where we were and have him trust me again. Definitely. Um, so what do you hope to accomplish by competing in the Meet Your Mustang makeover? Well, I would just like to, at the end of this, have a really good Mustang that is trusting, um, is safe, and just really smart and willing to learn and please. Um, but most of this is just for the experience and getting to be around them. Awesome. Um, what are the elements that you think are important to consider with regards to wild horses? Probably that they are, they are coming from the wild. They don't, it's not like they have ground manners. They, if, it's not like they want to hurt you. They are scared. They don't know what your intentions are. They don't know if you're there to hurt them or if you want to be a buddy. So just keeping that in mind that they they don't want to hurt you. They will, they are just not understanding yet. They haven't come around and figured out that you're there to be a buddy to them and not harm them or put them in any kind of situation that could possibly hurt them. Definitely. I'm awesome. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to share with the audience? I don't think so. Awesome. Well, thanks for chatting with me and good luck with the rest of your training. And I look forward to seeing the results in September. Thank you.